Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September TBR. We're already halfway through September, so I'm definitely going to mention books that I've already read this month, but basically we're just going to be talking about the books that I hope to read in the month of September. So let's get into it. Just start off with the books that I have already read. The first two books I want to read this month or already have read this month are for my English classes. Um, I've actually read King Solomon's Minds for, for English 655, which is Introduction to Victorian Fantasy, I believe, or something like that. Victoria, whoa, <laughs> okay. Victorian fantasy class, and so we read King Solomon's Minds. We're also currently reading Water Babies, so I'll definitely be adding that to my Goodreads total. Um, and then another one that I'll be reading this month for a poetry class is In the Mecca by Gwendolyn Brooks. I, yeah, these are just for classes. I probably have some more, honestly, for the month of September that I'm forgetting that relate to classes. Um, like one of them I'm actually, I can actually bring it up now is it's called i'm inserting a picture here so if it's different than what i just said sorry about that um but i definitely need to read this by the end of the month so that'll count towards my september books but yeah i think those are all the school books that i can think of currently so let's get into just for fun books this month is definitely going to be pretty low on the list my month has been very crazy but there are a few books that i want to get um out of the out of the way off the tbr um, books that I would like to get off of my TBR for this month that are fun related, which hopefully we can get a good amount of those off the TBR, is Isn't It Bromantic by Lissa K. Adams. This is the fourth book in the Bromance Book Club. This is actually the last published book that I have left of this series, so I'd really like to finish it. I'm assuming it's going to be a five star because, um, or just based off of what I've read by her before and in this series i just tend to really like them and so i'm really excited for that so I like to read jasper vale and crimson river these are the fourth and fifth books of the eden series that i'm currently reading or started in the month of august um the sixth book isn't coming out until december i think so i would like to finish those up hopefully because yeah i just think it would be nice to get those off of my kindle unlimited and start something new another book i would like to read this month or actually i kind of have to read this month because it's for book club is divine rivals by Re rebecca ross i believe i honestly have no idea what this book is about my friend autumn said it was pretty good she's actually the president or co-president of the book club that i'm in and so she's already read it she really enjoyed it and she said i should go into it blind so I have no idea what it's about and I probably won't find out anytime soon, but I'm definitely really excited to read that one. Um, I think it'll be good. Honestly, the last book on my TBR is this book, The Roommate Pact by Allison Ashley. The reason I want to get this done this month is I actually borrowed this from a friend. And so I just, I don't like borrowing books for that long. And so hopefully my goal is to read this by this month. I'm going to go ahead and read the back of it. Um, so it says... All of the fun, none of the heartache, as long as they stick to the agreement. The proposition is simple. If ER nurse Claire Harper and her roommate firefighter... Oh my gosh. ER nurse and firefighter? This is gonna be so good. Okay, anyways. Firefighter Graham Scott are still single by the time they're 40. They'll take the proverbial plunge together as friends with benefits. Maybe it's a wine, but in the moment, Claire figures the pact is a safe enough deal, considering she hasn't had much luck in love, and he's in no rush to settle down. Like, at all. Besides, there's no way she could ever really fall for Graham in his thrill-seeking ways, not after what happened to her father. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, just as things begin to heat up way before the provo proposed deadline, Graham's injured in a serious rock climbing accident and he needs Claire's help to heal. She'll do whatever it takes to nurse him back to health, even if it means moving into Graham's bed and putting up with his little dog who hates her. But with the snow strings arrangement taking a complicated turn, keeping for now from turning into forever isn't as easy as they'd plan. <gasps> this sounds so fun and unlike anything I've ever read. So I'm really excited for this. Also, the cover is pretty cute. Look at her and her scrubs. 
he's just there. It's, I believe that's all the books that I would like to or have already finished for the month of September. I am hoping that I can get into a regular routine of posting and reading and all that stuff along with schoolwork. But yeah, this is just a little update and let me know what you guys are reading in September. If there's any new releases, I know next month there's going to be a lot of new releases. Um, a Curse? No. A Curse for True Love? I think that's what it's called. I'm so excited for that book and I don't even know what it's called. But that book comes out in October and I know 100% I will be reading that. So I don't know if we're going to do a reading vlog for that or not. But guys, there's so many books coming out next month. You have no idea how excited I am. I believe the sixth book of Chestnut Springs is coming out as well. But this is going to be in our October TBR. So I won't talk too much about that. But yeah. That is all the books I want to read this month. Again, let me know what you guys are reading, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye, guys.